Good morning Beach Bums. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Matthew Isbell and this is my channel, Bama Beach Bum. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a lot of saltwater fishing videos, specifically surf fishing videos. It's great to be back home. I'm in Fort Morgan, Alabama today in my home turf. I've been in South Florida. We went to ICAST, which was my first time to ever go to ICAST. So that was pretty cool. And then from ICAST, we went down to South Florida, Juno, Jupiter Beach area and did some fishing chasing some snook which was amazing i love that area of south florida it's just so cool but today i'm getting back to my home beaches and i don't know what to expect so we gotta do some recon and i'm just bringing one rod i've got the bummy stick with me you got a pin slammer 4500 and a halco rooster popper this is a 135 we do sell all of this at the store i'll post links in the description below beach bum outdoors you can pick all this stuff up there in store or online but want to just see what conditions are and see what kind of fish are swimming around out here and hopefully catch something big that would be amazing let's let the sun come up a little bit let's get to fishing just getting out it's still early might still be a little dark still waiting on that sun to come up a little bit more but i can see well enough that i'm just scanning everything i'm not throwing yet i'm just keeping my eyes open just saw my first sign of life saw a spanish jump so that's my first cast this morning. I'm not seeing any blow ups or birds or bait really working, but I did see that Spanish jump. So maybe things are about to get going. We've got a little bit of a west wind today. Oh, 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 there's a fish. Dang. I was rolling straight in. What is that? A catfish? What? I've never caught a catfish on a popper. <laughs> That's weird. All right. Don't know how I managed to do that. We'll get him back. First fish of the day on the popper. Hardhead catfish. Oh, a Spanish just hit my lure. Make sure he didn't nick my line. I've got 80 pound mono on today. I think we're okay. I feel a little bit afraid right there, but nothing too significant. Don't think it's worth a retie. Hey. Spanish keep ripping me and they're getting my my braid. I've not had this many Spanish go after my popper before. I'm surprised I haven't hooked one just by accident yet. No. Dang it. Stupid Spanish cut me. Yeah, they keep hitting my swivel. Yeah, that's frustrating. All right. There are a ton of Spanish. They're still swiping at my lure. So I think we're going to put an ES on. All right, I've got the ES lure tied on. I'm sure jacks are going to show up as soon as I start doing this. They'll still hit it, but there's a lot of Spanish. They're been popping my lure. That might be one there. That's first cast with the ES lure. Still on there. Let's see what we got. A little guy. I've seen some bigger ones. That's a little Spanish. All right, first Spanish of the morning. We'll get you back. See you, buddy. There's a fish. That's a better one. That's a better one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That one feels good. That's two casts. Two fish. A little bit better Spanish. Yeah, he's bigger. Definitely. That's a nice one right there. Nice Spanish mackerel. 
they're uh they're fun to catch there's a bunch out there they keep cutting me off on the top water so figured i'd just throw for them all right get out of here we're two for two on cast with the es lure third cast oh we got hit didn't connect that was my third cast and first cast without a fish but did get popped <laughs> all right i've missed missed a couple now oh spanish just jumped right there Oh dang, you blew up on top. There's a fish, golly. Oh man, they just snatch it. Dang, they hit so hard. It's coming in, oh. He was swimming in when he tugged. Another good fish. Not bad. Third Spanish of the morning, little guy. Get him back. All right, get out of here. All right, let's see if we can get a bigger one. Let's see if we can get a Mac Daddy out here. Come and smoke. Oh, they're all over it. They are all over it. They're swiping at it. There we go. There's one. They were all chasing it in. It's not too big. Another little guy. There he goes. Perfect. See you, buddy. Oh, dang. He got it. I saw him thrashing around. God, there's so many Spanish out there. No wonder I lost my topwater lure. And they were all hitting the swivel. Wonder if there's any blue fish in them. All right, buddy, can you get it? There he goes. See, dude. Yeah, there's a gazillion Spanish. Yeah, it's uh, every, cast. every cast. So I switched over to a larger profile spoon i do have better success with bluefish on larger profile baits for whatever reason they will hit the es lures but i tend to catch more on these big spoons something i do with my spoons to help a little with line twist is i do use a ball bearing swivel they are more expensive they're a little pricey they allow that lure to spin a little bit better without twisting up your line so much. You're gonna get some line twist when you're throwing a spoon, but if you can use that ball bearing swivel, it does help. So I use that attached to my leader, a bunch of baits right here. And it does help some. If you wanna double it up, you can have it at the leader and at the lure, ball bearings, and really allow that lure to spin. Oh, we got a fish on the spoon. I changed over to a big spoon. Something just hit it. Might be a blue fish. Oh, dang. This thing just started going nuts. Gotta be a blue. Oh yeah, nice blue fish. There we go. I was looking for you this morning. All your Spanish friends hanging around. Nice little blue. These fish are crazy, man. 
They're so fun to catch. Thank you, buddy. See ya. <clears throat> I've always said one of the more underrated fish. They just fight so hard for their size. Of course, they get a lot bigger. We just don't get giant ones around here. There's a fish. Oh yeah, on the spoon. This feels weird. Oh no. Oh, he spit it. Uh, it was a blue. <laughs> he came up and uh, jumped and spit. Oh, dang, that looked like a trout. He came out of the water, I saw him. Pretty sure that was a trout. Wasn't sure if I'd come across too many, but it, that first fish that I hooked, Oh, something hit tried to hit it right there when I was reeling in um, The first fish that I hooked this morning felt like a trout. Oh There's a big blow up blow up out there That fish looked like a trout that came out of the water for it fish definitely do not seem to be too stacked up Each bite that I'm getting It's pretty much that one hit in that area and then I'm not getting anything else. Well, it's finally getting light. I've already been fishing some this morning. If you can finally see, I've had a couple of fish hooked. Had one to the beach. First fish of the morning was on and off fairly quick. Felt like a trout from what I could tell. Obviously, don't know didn't get to see it this, this rip is moving it really really pushed my bait there's a lot of moving water right here deep hole it's a good looking spot right here so a little bit of activity mainly looking for those early morning topwater bluefish <clears throat> oh Dang, come on. <laughs> that one wasn't like anywhere close to hitting. That was a that was a really bad miss. That, oh there's a fish. There's a fish. Oh, that's a lady fish. That makes a little bit of sense. <clears throat> For, oh gosh quite acrobatic Woo! look at that good spit <laughs> frayed me up a little bit I got 30 pounds I think I'm good top water has not yielded the results I'm looking for switching over to the slam shady paddle tail have a good little feature right here that looks like could be holding some flounder so we're gonna start jigging the bottom and see if there's any flounder hanging around. There's a fish. That flounder chased it in. Wow, where'd he go? Dang, he's a little guy, but he chased it all the way in. First landed fish of the morning. Tiny little gold flounder. That is a cute little fish right there. My goodness. All right, see you, buddy. <laughs> that was chasing it all the way in. Okay, all right, so there's a flounder here. Maybe there's some more. It got some depth. That's what I've been looking for. There's a fish. What do we got? Is this a flounder? That felt weird. That was a weird hit. It's a catfish. Ugh. A little hardhead snag on the Slam Shady. Get your back. <laughs> flounder, right there. <clears throat> Another little one. <clears throat> got some crud in my throat. He chased it up. 
catching the uh, the dinks today, but cool little fish. He was in this deep little pocket right here. Maybe there's some more. Couldn't find any additional flounder in the last hole that I caught one, but maybe this one's holding some.